I love the chapter headers. They're so beautiful. Are there actually people who start with the second or the third book in a trilogy opposed to the first one? I read it twice this year, so I think that says enough. My reading game was all over the place this year. <laughs> Hello lovely bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise of Pages on Instagram and also on Twitter and welcome back for Christmas countdown. I'm not sure which day it is but editing Esme will tell you down below, you'll see something pop up <laughs> down here and I'm beyond excited to today share something that I started I think last year and that is to share my favorite book of every single month. This is not the same list as my favorites though there might be a little bit of overlap but considering I'm a very inconsistent reader one month I could read 10 to 15 to 20 books and then another month it's one or two. So I thought it would be fun to see which books are my favorite every single month and today we're doing that list. So it doesn't mean that every single book on this list is a favorite but it's the best I've read in that month. So that's really fun. And without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So starting off with January. January was, I think, a weird reading month for me, but there was one book that truly took top notch for me. I read it twice this year, so I think that says enough. And for that book, I had to choose, for that month, I had to choose Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. This is about a girl who is locked in a prison and has gotten the job of being the prison healer. So she heals the prisoners as much as she's possible. Then once the queen of a rivalry country has actually been taken captive and taken to the prison, she is tasked with keeping her alive so that she can go through different trials. And then she gets a message from her family that basically requires her to keep the queen alive and so they're getting her out. So this was very interesting. Oh, I do have to add that the main protagonist then takes part in these trials to save the queen. I loved it. It was such a good book. The twists and turns, absolutely amazing. And I couldn't not choose this one for January. January started off strong, I think, and then I <laughs> went downhill a bit, but that's okay. So that is January. My reading game was all over the place this year. Uh, it went downhill, uphill, it did all of it. This was downhill twice, but it also went uphill. It was a very strange year, but let's continue on to February. Speaking of weird reads, for February, I've chosen a, a cross country Christmas. Say that three times fast, a cross country Christmas. And this is about a couple that has to go on a road trip to get to uh, their, not their family, but to family. So our main protagonist, I don't remember their names, but we have male and female. She actually is scared of flying and she wants to get to her parents' place and then her brother's best friend also wants to join them for Christmas and he's driving so they have to drive together but they don't like each other and I really really enjoyed it. It was a weird read for February because it is literally a Christmas book which perfect for this time of year if you still want to read some Christmas cheer. And I really, really enjoyed it, actually. It was a fun, short story, and it was a it was a good book. Then moving on to March. March, I think this was a buddy read, and this is a book that I did really, really enjoy. It was amazing. And that is none other than The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. This book is about a woman who is tossed to marry the king of a rivalry country. And in this kingdom, the Bridge Kingdom, her father actually wants to take reign and so she has to be sort of the spy in between. It's a very interesting story. It's a bit spicy, I wouldn't say really, really spicy, but there's a tiny bit of spice. And I just in general really, really enjoyed it. I think you would too. I love the fact that it's such a floppy paperback. It was really great to read. And I loved the new chapter headers. Can you? I love the chapter headers. They're so beautiful. So yeah, that is March for me. Let's move on to April. April was a weird month and my favorite book for the month was Tin. And this is actually a reimagining of The Wizard of Oz. I read this in a weird stage because at this time I was writing my master thesis and I actually wrote my master thesis partly on The Wizard of Oz. So it might not have been the best book to read during that time. But this is about Dorothy who goes back to, the, to Oz. <laughs> that was difficult to explain apparently. And she meets Tin, or she 
runs into Tin and there's a lot of things going on. Tin, he's actually a man, he's not like a Tin man now. He's like truly a man and it's spicy and I really really enjoyed it actually. I know that there's more in this series but I haven't been drawn to it that much but it was an interesting book and I think it was my favorite for April or March, what did I say? April, yeah, April. <laughs> Moving on to May. For May, it is a different book as well, and for me, that is The Hunt of Atlantis. This is a book about a researcher who actually wants to get funding to try and find the lost city of Atlantis, and she eventually gets a benefactor, but that's outside of the university, and all hell breaks loose. There's different parties trying to find Atlantis, and there's life-threatening situations, and I did really, really enjoy it. I think, if I remember correctly, there is an entire series about this academic and I think she's called Nina if I remember correctly but it was definitely a good book so I really cannot recommend this enough it's kind of Indiana Jonesy but the main protagonist isn't as capable as Indiana Jones or Lara Croft or something along those lines but I really really enjoyed it so that was my favorite book for May moving on to June June was ne definitely not the best reading month because for this I had to choose the Trader Queen, and if you've been following my vlogs, you know that this was not my favorite read, yet still came on, on top for this month, so I think that says something about both the amount I read and the books I chose, but that's beside the point. This is the continuation of uh, The Bridge Kingdom, and I won't go into depth about this one, uh, just that it let me down a tiny bit, but other than that, this was still my favorite for the month of June. Then moving on to July. For July, my favorite was The Smoke Hunter. The Smoke Hunter is along the same vein as The Hunt for Atlantis, but this one was better. I really enjoyed this one. So we follow a young woman who does not want to fit into the rules of Victorian society and wants to be able to go out on dig sites and just explore the world, find what has been hidden. And on the day that she gets fired from her job as an archivist, I think, she steals a map and then she travels halfway across the world to actually go after this map and she meets someone who will help her on the, along the way. It's very much Indiana Jones. I love how capable the main characters are. I hope, I truly, truly hope that there will be a sequel to this. So far, I don't think there is one, but I hope, 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 hope there will be. I really, really enjoyed it and that was my favorite for the month of July. And then moving on to August. For August, my favorite is Pestilence. Pestilence by Lara Thalassa. This is one of the four books in the Four Horsemen series and I love it. If you know the, I think it's a biblical story, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. If you know that story, you know that there's four different things emerging and one of them is Pestilence. In this book, Pestilence is in the form of a beautiful man and we follow our main protagonist who actually gets kidnapped by Pestilence because I think she tries to murder him. I loved it. It was brutal in a good kind of way and I love the way that the characters progress and the story progresses. It was such a fun story and I kind of have to say that I'm obsessed. I still have to read the final one, War, but the other two were just as good. I love this series. And I know that Mariana also loved it because I think she read it because of me. And uh, yeah, it is such a fun, fun story. And they're quick, they're easy, and that was my favorite for this month. Moving on to September. September was a strange one, strange reading month, but I have found an absolute new favorite in a genre that I don't typically read because I think this is a horror thriller and the book I'm talking about is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This is about a woman who goes back for her grandmother's 80th birthday and her grandmother has always said there was this psychic or something along those lines who told her she would not live past the age of 80. So she's so much prepared to die and when our main protagonist Daisy, Daisy Darker, actually goes here, grandma does end up dead around midnight and all hell breaks loose and then everything progresses. It is such a fun, well it's not fun, but <laughs> it's such an interesting story to read. I absolutely loved it beginning to end. The suspense is good the trying to figure out what is happening is just amazing it gives me and then there were none vibes which i love absolutely brilliant i loved daisy darker i cannot recommend it enough i think it's also a recent release such a good book and that was my favorite for this month okay october was another strange reading month i didn't read that much but i do have a favorite for that month 
uh, at least if I, I mean if I read one book that is still the favorite of that month I suppose and that is The Blood Trader by Lynette Noni. This is the third book in the Prison Healer trilogy. I really enjoyed all three of the books. I do have to say that the first one I think is my favorite but the third one was really great. I love the way that they ended things. I'm not going to say too much about the contents of this book because I don't want to spoil you. I would say <laughs> read The Prison Healer first but yeah. Uh, I really really enjoyed it and that was my favorite for the month of October. Are there actually people who start with the second or the third book in a trilogy opposed to the first one? I'd be curious if those people exist. Probably. <laughs> Then the second to last month of the year, I actually had a book that I finished in November but started in October. This one was just a Halloween read, so I had to finish it ASAP. And that was Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. This is about a young woman who loses her mother and after that she has not been herself. She then finds a diary of a very long time ago and they uh, at one point go to a farm and then they realize that some things are amiss. She meets a couple of friends and the way this story unfolds is just really good. I also really liked how creepy it was for middle grade. I can really really recommend it. I think a lot of people have said that these are really good. I do also have the second and the third book but I'm not sure I'm gonna read them now or keep them for October next year because these are the perfect sort of October spooky reads and I really really enjoyed it. So that was my favorite for the month of November. And then last but certainly not least or kind of maybe not <laughs> is December. So our final month of the year. December has been incredibly busy for me so I have barely read anything but I have read a book that uh, I mean I've heard a couple of books and I had to choose a favorite and the one that I chose was The Island House. This is about a woman whose father actually gets murdered in a hit and run. This is a thriller I think and she's trying to pick back up her life again when someone buys a sculpture that she sculpted when she was very young about a house that was in her memory or in her nightmares. <coughs> excuse me and this house this sculpture looks exactly like a pre-existing house but she's convinced that she's never been here before and then she gets the invitation to actually go to this house which is along the coast uh, which has been turned into a hotel and all hell breaks loose a it was such a well-rounded story. I loved the skips between sort of past present. I love trying to figure out what has happened, where things went from point A to point B. It was just the right kind of eerie and at the point I read it in the beginning of this month, I was still in that sort of thrillery mood. So it was perfect for that and I did really, really enjoy it. So if you want a fun audiobook, I would say go for that one. And those were actually all 12 of the books or all 12 of the favorites I had this year. It's a strange list because there's a lot of different genres. I feel like about half of them are fantasy. There's a lot of thrillers and there's a lot of adventure stories, which I find really funny because I feel like my reading change has shifted quite a bit. But I hope you have liked seeing a little glimpse into my year of books or yeah, month, month to month. Uh, there will also be my most disappointing and my favorite books, but I'm doing that in January once the year is truly, truly over. For now, this is the list of my 12 favorites per month. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and press that little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that I post a new Christmas countdown video. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. And uh, the final thing I have to say is none other than... Bye!